Hey guys, Riley and Roca here, and this Woo. just in. Yep. Fabian Wagner, the uh, renowned cinematographer with Zack Snyder, who did work on Justice League, did an interview with Inverse, and he did reveal that they shot footage of Henry Cavill in the black suit as Superman, and he says it as, quote, there were scenes shot. It's a cool looking costume. Sadly, we didn't see that either in the final cut. No, we did not see the black suited Superman yeah. in the final cut. We saw Henry Cavill shirtless with maybe a mustache. I don't know. It sure looked like that in that uncanny valley. But Roca, as a Superman fan, yeah. not getting the mythology of a black suited Superman, mine from years and years of comics and the death of Superman, the right. return of Superman, what do you think about the fact that they cut out the black suited Superman. Well, this tells me that Zack Snyder had a bigger vision for Justice League. He was gonna break this up into two films. The, the evil Superman and then eventually Lois Lane or someone was gonna get involved and bring him back and then he was really gonna join the Justice League in the second installment, you know? Snyder had this grand vision. Yes, people gave him crap about it because it's too dark, all this kind of stuff, but he had a longer game plan here with the Superman character and I would have liked to have seen this. I think this is what's coming out. All this stuff is coming out is because people were unsatisfied with the Whedon cut and they wanted to see what Snyder was going to do with this. And maybe, just maybe, he would have salvaged this. And the fact that Fabian Wagner, his cinematographer, who's worked on two of the greatest episodes on Game of Thrones, he is defending Snyder. That's huge. That, you know, a lot of people just kind of go along with the corporate thing because they want to keep working. But Fabian's out there saying, no, we shot a bunch of scenes. It could have led to injustice. It could have led to it could, Death of Superman, which was in 1993, like a year later, he shows up in the black suit. So there was a lot that they could have played with here. And it seems like WB just went in, cut their losses, got Joss Whedon on it, and released the film. Yeah, as, as the Superman fan, I was really looking forward to it. There's so Absolutely. much mythology to mine there. And I said in the initial review, for Collider video that I thought they glossed over Superman's mm -hmm. return. Mm -hmm. And yes, you're right, Zack Snyder, he started with Man of Steel. He had a story to tell, a trilogy to tell about Superman, and we got short change with this. Yeah. So it begs the question, is it Zack Snyder that we blame for the Justice League, for lack of an excitement? Not It's a Frankenstein's monster mm -hmm. of a movie. Do we blame Zack Snyder? Do we blame Joss Whedon? Or do we look at Warner Brothers as to blame for Justice League not really sticking the landing, but at the very least, not handling Superman with care. We had Henry Cavill. He was so excited to share an yep. image on Instagram that teased that black suit. That yep. got all of us, all these Superman fans going, here we go, we're getting the return of Superman, yep. the death of Superman storyline, then that black suit would have really popped, and yet we didn't get it. It's on the cutting room floor. How much more is on the cutting room floor? Do you think it's Warner Brothers? Do you think it's Joss Whedon? Who is it? Well, if this was existing in a vacuum and only Snyder's films were at issue, then I might say it's Snyder. But it has to be Warner Brothers. If you look at Suicide Squad, you factor in these other films, the way they've been fumbling this around, the way they, after BVS, they totally shifted and moved people out, moved other people in to be in charge of the DCU. So they're just scrambling. It feels like they're scrambling around trying to figure this out. And they made a colossal mistake here by not letting Steiner just finish out his vision. I think they were super afraid of BV what happened with BVS. And they're like, we're going to bring in Joss Whedon. We're going to make it like the Avengers, Marvel. People are going to like it, blah, blah, blah. And what you had is two conflicting tones slamming into each other and not really working overall well as a film and I think that has to go back to Warner Brothers who else the buck stops there doesn't it I mean they're the ones that are responsible for moving Snyder out whether it was done because of the, su or the suicide of his unfortunate suicide of his daughter or if it was done months earlier there's a lot of rumors about that as well so there's a lot of missteps here on Warner Brothers side of things so I think you have to blame Warner Brothers and what was it what was it like to be a filmmaker under them how much security could you possibly feel you know when you're a coach and they hire a second coach to be over your shoulder the whole time how secure are you in what you're doing that the team the president the company has faith in you yeah that's right and here's the million dollar question I want to know and I'm gonna pose it to you first sure and I'm gonna pose it to all of you out there because I want to hear what you have to say in the comments is Justice League would Justice League have been a better movie if Zack Snyder finished his vision my two cents yes it would have I think it would have been a better movie more consistent with tone we would have gotten the Superman black suit we would have finished Snyder's vision for Superman as well as creating the league because I know there were leaked scripts, there were leaked storyboards, animatics of different scenes that didn't make it in the movie that had a little bit more development for the actual league. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying yes, Snyder would have made a better Justice League 
Then we have in theaters now, Roka, what do you say? I'm, I'm, you know what? I want to believe you. I want to say that, but BVS is a real, is a terrible movie in my Still opinion. Still like that movie a lot. So, you know, so I like go. that movie. I do not. I think it's a terrible movie, and <sighs> so it doesn't speak well that Snyder would have necessarily gotten this right. He might have fumbled this, but what is true is the fans would have respected the vision more, mm. and they would have come out and supported this in higher numbers than they did with Joss Whedon. I don't think I don't think WB understood the rabid Snyder fan base, or at least the people who love and respect comics and want these auteurs to finish their vision with what they're doing, good or bad. And so I think that's where they they totally misplayed it once again. So. I would have, let's just say this, I would have been interested to see a three, I would absolutely see a three hour Zack Snyder Justice League movie cut, but I also think the studio felt like after BVS that they couldn't trust him anymore. Well, Warner Brothers, it's been said that they're reactionary. We got that with yeah. Justice League. We lost Zack Snyder. We lost the black suit as Superman. Mm -hmm. And we got a kind of watered down, paint by numbers Justice League in theaters. But that's my take. Well, how, well let me ask you one question. How one do more. you think the black suit was used in the scenes they shot? I wish I knew, man. Yeah, I do, wish you have, I knew. do you have an idea? I want to know, well, uh, I can only assume that it had something to do with the Kryptonian chamber. Yep. If we go to the comic books, yes. there was a uh, there was an alert that was uh, put in the Fortress of Solitude that if Superman was to have any kind of bodily uh, injury, You're that right. he needed to recharge, so to speak, so if the body somehow was missing in the grave, instead of the Grave Robbers Justice League of Flash and Cyborg digging up the body of Superman, what if they dug in the, stupid by the way, why are you sending your superheroes to dig up bodies? I, I mean, okay, right, right. enough about that. But if you were to go in there and the, and the body was missing somehow, and somehow the Fortress of Solitude was able to get that body back and put him in a regenerative chamber that then put the black suit on him, and then he's not aware, he doesn't know who he is right now, maybe he was, you know, the Kodaks was speaking to him, mm -hmm. something, there's so much mythology there you could have done with, I think we would have had a bigger mythology to work with, a bigger playing field, we might have seen something special with that. Yeah, and I think he would have been an evil Superman. I just think WB at the end did not want to take that chance because a lot of the backlash against Zack Snyder's version of Superman is he doesn't get it. It's too dark. He's not. It's not the Richard Donner Superman, and that would have played into that critique of a lot of people about his version of Superman, and maybe WB just didn't want to take that chance. But I think he was shooting for the stars in this, and it would have been interesting to let him finish this installment and the next installment to play out because you know eventually he was going to turn good, join the league, and inspire them to victory over Darkseid, Steppenwolf, and anybody else who was coming down uh, from Apocalypse. Yep. Well, we'll never get it. We'll, ne it looks, well, we'll, we'll never see. see this. Fabian says they're scenes, so we'll see. Scenes, hopefully, but uh, they were never finished, unfortunately, True. for Zack Snyder's vision. I know that. People want a cut of Zack Snyder's Justice League. I don't think we're going to get that. So I'm going to turn it to you. You guys, what do you want? Did you want to see Justice League, Zack Snyder's vision? I know there's a petition out there, but how about you guys out there? Black Suit Superman, did you want to see that? Are you bummed that it got cut? I want to know, did Zack Snyder get unfair treatment with Justice League? Would you want a Justice League movie? No uh, interference from Warner Brothers, just Zack Snyder's version? Do you want to see that, or do you think Joss Whedon saved the movie? That's another question I want to know. So drop it in the comments and share this video around. Get your friends commenting on this discussion that we just had, and we'll see you next time for Collider Video. It's me, Riley, with Roca. Until next time.